Using the power of AI voice, uh, modeling to create the first ever Honest Conference for Starfield. This took way longer than expected to make. Welcome to the opening night of Honest Conference. And for the first time ever, one of our industry's greatest creators, the director and executive producer of Bethesda Game Studios. That's right, Todd Howard, everybody. And Todd is here to give us an honest account of Starfield. Thank you, Jeff. This is my first honest conference, and I'm doing it because you said how great the crowd is here. And so Todd, we love you, and this is a safe space. You can let the truth out now. Why did you want to make this game, Starfield? Why did you want to create a new world? We have dreamt of a game where we can truly break the creation engine in every aspect. Once If you've all upgraded your PCs, you'll be able to explore thousands of PCs. barren planets where a real <laughs> sense of loneliness will start setting in. <laughs> I mean, we tried to do something new where you could explore with complete freedom. In <laughs> Bro, where's she going? I mean, we tried to do something new where you could explore <laughs> with complete freedom <laughs> in the galaxy. But something's wrong with the game. Like, and I caught, I can't quite put my finger on it. It can't. <laughs> something's. <laughs> Can't quite. I don't know what it is. Be all that bad though, Todd. Well, crafting is worse. Outposts yeah. are worse. Companions will constantly moan at you. Perks are worse. There's yeah. fewer gear slots. You know, I could go on and oh on. My Can God. you imagine 16 times the loading screens though? Yeah, I wish. Jesus Christ. How is this so good? I could talk about the loading screens, and it's quite an experience, and I know everyone here is very excited to uh, to experience it soon. Um, so, Todd, what what bugs did you bring to Honest Gun? Yeah, it's excited to uh, to experience it soon. Um, so, Todd, what what bugs did you bring to Honest Gun? Oh my God. Yeah, it's really cool. They, uh, we've built a 300-person seat theater where we're constantly looping uh -huh. bugs from the game. And what's the experience uh -huh. like? Well, to be honest, it's a it's a, it's a real nightmare. They're gonna need to buckle. Yeah. Up, and it's it's two hours. They'll never get back. And I uh -huh. see a lot of things on the internet. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure that's real. <laughs> this Let's is so good. Let's move on to quest then. Could you could you give us an example of what that's like? Yeah, Jeff. As an example of a of a quest, you'll go to a star yard. Talk to a lady, need to fetch a beverage. 10 loading screens later, and you got a beverage. That's wow. It. That's the only quest in that handcrafted location. Surely That's there amazing. Must be some improvements to the uh, creation engine. Hey, oh. yeah. Just wait until you see what we've done with global illumination, bucket physics, artificial intelligence, character variation, yeah. and our brand new cutting edge 2005 motion capture <laughs> technology. Add to this, I honestly. <gasps> Dude, how is this so good? It's just, it, it's perfect. I honestly believe we have the worst UI in the world because, hey, you know, the modders will fix that. And after 100 hours in the game, I still- I feel like this is a better advertisement than the game. Yeah, at the end of this, I think I might want to play Starfield again. I still have no idea where anything is in New Atlantis. I honestly have zero yeah. clue where my penthouse apartment is. And any Metacritic Ooh. predictions for this, Todd? We're aiming for a controversial 7 out of 10. Yeah, it's- how is this so good? This is amazing. And any Metacritic predictions for this, Todd? We're aiming for a controversial seven out of ten. Yeah, it's. Uh, it well, right on the money. True. It's such an awkward experience, you know, and hopefully a, a nail in the coffin for the the creation engine. But but uh, Todd, no. well, you and your team have played such a pivotal role in game development and have created some of our fondest childhood memories. We'll still buy the game and chalk this all up to experience. And now at least we can look forward to Elder Scrolls 6. So thank you for all. You <laughs> Bro, this dog that's just like stuck on the spaceship. Love to experience. And now at least we can look forward. <laughs> oh my god. Forward to Elder Scrolls 6. So thank you for all you've done for our industry, Todd. Everyone, Todd Howard. Thank you. Shout out to the chess club. Thanks so much, Todd. Really appreciate it. On this conference. You on my mind a lot. Don't need no time. Watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bag gives you every day. You like my oxygen. Make it seem like the barging down. Got my heart no barging in. From the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wake the neighbors up. Break you in and break you out. In the end, we're gonna make it. On this conference. We don't hit the show. Whoa. Two, we don't need no pals. You feel me? We're gonna get tipsy. We're gonna get tipsy. We're gonna get tipsy. 
my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real. Ain't no cap, I'm real. It's actually really good. Boss from a copy my steel. What the copy my steel? Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real. Ain't no cap, I'm real. The plastic boss from a copy my conference. Got my heart, no. No, in a bed. This is insane. Boss from a copy my steel. This has no right to be this good. Plastic bars when I copy my this video had no right to be this good. Oh my god, I hope they make more of these. This is so good. Bro, and, and like the dubstep outro that just fucking fit perfectly? How the fuck? Like, dude, Bethesda game bugs and dubstep. They just... It's the same thing.